let's take a look in Windows 11 how we can add a route, a static route. So that way we can get to other subnets in our network. So if I type in ipconfig, we can see that our main network is going to be this 192.168.1 network. And every bit of our internet traffic is going to go out through 192.168.1.1. So that means that basically if I want to go out to the internet, that's where my router slash firewall is. So if I type in route space print, it tells me my default gateway information. So there it is. My default gateway is 192.168.1.1. Now I also see it up here under the network destination as well. So my IP address is 1.2 and the gateway where the router or firewall is, is 1.1. All this other information is just sort of overhead. You've got 127 traffic. That's basically information on whether or not the network is working or the network interface card is working. You've got 169 because I've got one network card that's, that's not picking up an IP address. 172 because I have another network card that has a different IP address. And you've got broadcast traffic. And that's basically as soon as you connect your computer up, it sends a packet out saying, hey, where is everybody? So that's what all those routing tables mean. But what we want to do is we want to set up a static route. So all we have to do is say, let's find out which route we want. Let's say I want to get out to a 192.168.2 subnet. So what I need to do is type in route space add. Now, if I want it to be persistent, I'll do a forward slash P. And what that means is when I reboot my computer, that routing statement will still be there. So I want to get to the 192.168.2 network, so I'll just go ahead and type that in, .2.0. Now I need to type in the word mask for subnet mask, followed by the subnet mask. Now most of the time it's going to be these three 255s. Dot zero. If you don't know what that means, then check out my TCP IP basics course, which is a playlist in this channel. Now we need to put in our gateway. So our gateway is going to be 192.168.1, but it's not going to be .1 at the end because uh, that's my default gateway at the internet. What I want to do is find the IP address that will take me to the .2 network. So basically I've got a router somewhere out on the network that's going to be uh, one dot, let's say 20 on the inside, and then it's going to be 2.0 the entire subnet on the outside. So this is the gateway out to the to network. And now I'll just go ahead and press enter and it says OK. So if I do a new route print, then it's going to show my new persistent route, which is to the dot two network. There's my net mask or subnet mask. And then there is my gateway. So you can see the gateway to the dot two network is a different gateway than to out to the internet. So how did I pick 1.20? This is a random IP address. I'm just assuming that I have a router on the inside of my network. That's 1.20 on the inside and then this 2 network on the outside. So you'll know what IP address you're going to be using when you set up a router. It also works with a layer 3 switch that does inter-VLAN routing, such as the Cisco 3000 series. And there's a lot of other brands as well. So that is how you set up a static route on a Windows 11 computer.